hi. Okay. <laughs> Look at this neon sign. Isn't it so fucking cute? I'm so excited. Bill's going to get um, batteries right now because um, it's just blinking and I think we just have to change it with the remote control that comes with it. But I'm going to install it right now and then I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, it's so cute. I'm thinking that, so this is like my office space. So I have like this blank spot. I was thinking about putting it right there. Um, I just think that'll look good. Like center it with my desk. Alternatively, I have this wall here as well too, but I think I like the idea of having it above my head. I think that I like it over the desk instead. Oh, you have a pencil. Yeah, a oh, a marker. Okay guys, it's, it's up. Okay, it's up. I don't know if I like how the bill put the cord, but here nor there. Okay, here's what it looks like. Ready? Oh, <laughs> it's so freaking cute. I am like actually so obsessed and you can turn it down. Like if it's too bright for you, you can turn it down. Like, look at that. Oh my God. Obsessed. It's from a company called Manhattan Neons. I don't know if I said that. Um, I do have a link and a code. I will put it in the description of this video, but ah, I'm so excited. Hello friends. My name is Danielle. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. <sighs> it's been a day. It's Thursday. Thursday means I'm done my work week. I start vlogging for the weekend. It's kind of my favorite day of the week, mainly because obviously I don't have to work the next day or for the next four and a half days, but I get to vlog and I get to like talk to you guys, which is like one of my favorite things to do. Um, and something that I look forward to so much. So anyways, um, as you see, I got my neon sign. Um, it looks so good. I had to turn Winston. Oh my God. He scared me. Oh, Winnie bear. Anyways, I just turn it off because like, if I have it on, there's like a pink glow. So I'll just, it's remote controlled. Um, so been a bit of a day um I've had a little bit of a rough day just in terms of body image I'm going out with some friends tonight um it's my friend's birthday um it's open mic if you don't know if you don't follow me on Instagram you know that I do that I like to do open mic I like to sing um and so we're all going to the Tin Fiddler which is a restaurant here where I live and I'm excited but you know then it came time to decide what I want to wear. And I just, I get in these, like, I get in my head, I guess. And I think that in order for people to like me, I need to look a certain way. And I hate that. And then I start to think like, oh, I need to have, you know, good clothes. I need clothes that make me look thin. And it just, it spirals and it spirals. And it's just, it's not good. It's just honestly not good. So Anyways, uh, we're going to tin tonight and I'm trying to pull myself out of a funk by doing nice makeup. I'm using all my finest products. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Love this thing. I actually like to use this just on its own, um, but tonight I will be using it with, um, with a foundation. So that's what I use, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Oh, and then this is the primer I use, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love that primer. Okay, so I'm gonna just blend out this stuff here. Anyways, so bear with me as I do this and attempt to get my thoughts in order. It's gonna be a bit of a, sh a chatty little beginning to the vlog, I think. But anyways, so I get in my head and I was like, okay, you know what's gonna make this better? A new outfit. So I went to the mall, which is like a joke because being plus size, it's hard as shit to find anything to begin with. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to try. Well, that was a, that was a bad idea um, because not only could I not find anything that fit me, um, it made me feel a million times worse than what I felt going in there. So, so I left the mall almost in tears, honestly message my friend and I was just like you know I know it's the clothes okay I know it's the clothes I know it's not me but god it's just so hard sometimes you guys like when you it's just really hard 
you know, sometimes I just think to myself, like, how much easier my life might be if I lost weight. And, and like, with the emergence of all these dr weight loss drugs that people are taking, and it's just, like, very hard to be steadfast in yourself. And it's not that I'm against health, doing health, you know, being healthy or, you know, working out and stuff like that. I try to move my body. I try to limit my fast food. I try to eat, you know, night, like, nice foods. I try to eat nice foods. Um, I try to eat, you know, whole grains and like do, and just eat nourishing foods that make my body feel good and that fuel my body. But I, I won't diet. I just, I won't do it. I lived on a diet for so many years of my life and it just is not an option for me anymore. But damn, if I tell you, I have not been tempted to use those drugs, you know, or like go back on a diet. Like it's been hard I'm, I'm not gonna lie okay sorry I had to do everything off camera because the truth is I cannot see and I needed a mirror and the mirror has to be up like this which means you wouldn't be able to see me so anyways we do setting spray mm. oh my face was so hot after the shower so that setting spray felt really really good let it dry let it dry I did like the full enchilada today I did eyeshadow I did eyeshadow I did contour I usually don't do contour but okay there we go kind of feel like I look like I'm going to a dance recital anyways I'm just gonna do my hair I'm gonna curl it today and I think I'm gonna wear a hat I think yeah hi that was a little bit of a, oh, my makeshift makeshift tripod is like, like uh, it feels like it's gonna fall. Anyways, that was a bit of a weird night. <laughs> um, had a blast, sang some open mic, and was in bed by midnight, which is the perfect night in my humble opinion. So um, yeah, so today I have an event at night um, for my initiative called Bold and Bloom Collective. It's just kind of like a uh, social, we're gonna play some bingo, um, we're doing some like self-love portraits, have snacks, that kind of thing. So I'll bring you along for that. But, um, and then tomorrow I'm going to the Art Cal's in Toronto, I'm going by myself, so excited. Um, I've never been to a concert by myself before, so this will be new to me. Um, but I have heard such great things about going by yourself and, um, actually, so I share, so the, the Arkells have like a phone request line that you can call in and request a song. So I thought it was a good idea to do this on a day I was having a bad day. So anyway, so I called in and I was like, I requested the song and I got a little emotional when I did. Well then like fast forward, you know, to the next, what is it? The next day or no later that night. And I said, oh, sorry, and I said in my um, message that I was coming alone. And then they played it. So they posted a reel playing my call. Um, basically, like, yeah, saying how heartwarming it was. And, um, you know, if there's anybody, you know, going to the show by themselves, like, put it in the comments and, um, you know, we can meet up or whatever. So it was kind of cool that they did that. Um, they did say that they got a lot of requests for the song I requested, but they're not going to play it. Secretly, I think they're going to surprise us all with it. But what do I know? Anyways, but even if they don't play it, it's going to be a great time. So I'm heading into Toronto tomorrow morning. So that'll be a fun day. It is limited service on the go again. If you watched my vlog last week, this week I will not make the same mistake. I am aware that there's limited service, so I will be planning accordingly for that. Oh, water is so good. So, anyways, I'm just kind of, you know, keeping it low-key today. 
we're just chilling. We're just having a good time. Megan's here. She's just out doing some errands. So Megan's going to be here and we're just going to chill for a bit. Um, I might pack my car up for the event now just so that I don't have to rush and do it when I have to leave. Oh, I have a little pimple right here in my nose and it like is bothering me. So anyway, so I'm going to just do a little bit of work. I really need to plan my content better. Honestly, guys, I need to plan my content better because I haven't been posting on Instagram. This is the longest I've kind of gone without posting consistently. I just have no creative energy. Honestly, I just don't. I don't have any creative energy. It's like the Sahara over here. I just, I can't think of anything and like anything that normally I would do that I would get inspired by or like be excited about. No, no just not doing it for me so I'm trying to plan better and I'm trying to think of things and it's just it's very difficult and I'm struggling a bit with it because I'm getting in my head about numbers and stuff you guys don't care about but anyways so um that's what I'm doing right now just hanging out thought I'd check in um and again welcome to the vlog it's very exciting just very excited to have you back if you're back if you're new hello hi um Let's see what the day brings me at this point. And like pose, like blow to kiss. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, it actually does kind of work. Does it work? <laughs> okay, we're here at the studio, Megan's beautiful artwork to welcome all of our guests. Um, and then we're playing bingo, but bingo numbers are really expensive. So I just got highlighters. I figured that would work. Bingo cards. Um, these are the prizes for bingo. Uh, Poppy and Peony's bag. I have this rare beauty gift basket and a Naturium gift bag with lots of goodies in there. But we're at Painted Cat Studio. Look at the window. It's actually so cute. Hey, Megan. Are you flossing? I'm trying to. Oh, you're doing a good job. Um, but look at it, it's like, like little paint buckets with tool coming down because Painted Cat is like an art studio. Um, okay, what else? And then here's our little goodie tray, goodie table. Um, we have lots of goodies. We're gonna do some photos with flowers. Um, and then Bill's bringing me ice because I forgot ice for the juice. So, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. It's the big day. Going to the Arkells today. My goal and intention is to vlog more today. Um, because yesterday at the event, thank goodness my friend Megan took the footage that you saw. Because I was just so nervous and, like, excited. And I just had my hands full, so I couldn't take film like I barely posted anything to Instagram too so um my goal is to try and take more content for you today and I'm just really excited I'm super nervous to be going to a concert by myself but I'm really excited I heard that the concert last night was like amazing and so I get to be there tonight now so the song I requested did I already talk about this I have sometimes I like feel like I forget what I've talked about already in this vlog. I can't remember. I'm going to reiterate it just in case and then I can cut it out if I did or I'll just leave it in. Who cares? Um, they said they're not going to play the song that I requested. Lots of people requested it, but I think they might be like tricking us and they might play it and surprise us. Fingers crossed. But anyway, so um, I've, I've already basically packed. Um, I just need to have a shower get dressed. I'm not going to do makeup or hair until I get to my hotel. And then I'm going to go stop at shoppers, get some snacks. I'm going to fill up my car. Um, and then I'm going to get on the road. We're going to get going. I'm excited. Solo road trip like last weekend, but I'm actually excited because next weekend I have like nothing to do. So I am going to just like veg and recharge because then the week after that I have beats on the street, which is where I'm singing 
and singing at an event and I'm really nervous about that too but I'll deal with it after the weekend um but yeah so that's where I'm at right now I'm excited nervous it'll be a good day though it'll be a good day and I've learned my lesson I know that the the go is on limited service so I've planned my day accordingly around that which is good I'm debating if I want to bring my computer with me because I can do some editing because I'll get to the hotel around like I'll have some I'll have a couple hours to kill at the hotel so I'm thinking I might bring my computer and then I can do some editing and stuff like that but yeah I'm excited okay I gotta go get ready. Just, oops, going into pen. Um, I don't, I just really kind of want to wear a dress tonight and I didn't have any, so wish me luck. Okay, I got two black dresses. Um, I'll wear them to work, which is good my purchases here and now I got to get on the highway because I have a feeling it's gonna be freaking busy wish me luck I made it to my hotel room oh my god it was it was really overwhelming, but I'm so glad that I'm here. I hope you can't see, I have no pants on, but I'm just, I'm just so happy to be in this hotel. I'm gonna just chill for a couple hours. I might take a shower because I'm super sweaty. Get ready. And then head down to the concert. I'm like so nervous. For me, it's like the getting there. It's like, yeah, like the getting there. It just causes me anxiety. I think I might take an Uber, um, but we'll see. Okay, I'm running a smidge late, but this is the fit. I'm wearing the same thing I wore Thursday. Obviously, I did wash the top, but because um, I just feel comfy in it, it's actually kind of like, not cool, but like it's cooler. It's not as hot as it was. Um, so this is the fit. I'm going to go down. I'm going to get an Uber, and here we go. Oh, my God, I'm nervous. I needed that. <laughs> needed a little crisp. Wow. Um, I literally slept like 10 hours last night. Uh, it's Monday. <laughs> I did not vlog yesterday, clearly. Um, I got home and I was exhausted. You know, just I think going to the concert and being so anxious for like a week leading up to it just took a number out on me and I was exhausted and I the thing is I know my mental health hasn't been the best lately either and um I just knew I needed sleep so I did that and then I just had a nap because I'm like I just want to sleep as much as I can to get all recharged and like on Sunday night or Saturday night I only slept like four hours at the hotel which you know I have bipolar and you know sleep is a major major part of managing it so people make fun of me because I sleep a lot, but literally I need to. If I don't, I spiral. 
and that's what happened Sunday. I completely spiraled and was crying and just had a very bad day. Um, so today I'm just, you know, I was really productive in the morning and then um, had a little nap and I have a call at four, but I'm just gonna take it easy this afternoon. All my laundry is done. Everything that I want to get done is, is pretty well done. Um, so I can just kind of chill and uh, wait for my call and then start my work week tomorrow. So um, I was gonna end the vlog, but I thought that I'd pop on and just do one more little video um, just to kind of let you know where I went. So I don't have two weeks of abrupt, abrupt video endings. Um, it also doesn't help that I'm getting my period. Like, I'm just feeling like I'm a little bit of a mess right now, if I'm being honest. Like, I haven't showered yet. Like, I just, and I have this call with somebody I've never met before. So I'm like, maybe I should shower, and put some makeup on maybe. So actually, that's probably what's going to happen after I'm done talking to you. But um, mental health is no joke. And I, every now and then have days where I, question why this was the hand I was dealt honestly sometimes when I feel things when I'm sad I feel them really really deeply and it can be very difficult sometimes and that is kind of what happened yesterday and when I have those days where you know it's just an emotional shit show it it's hard to explain but it it just it literally feels like I don't, it just, it takes so much out of me. Um, so, oh, you know what else I could do today that might help me kind of get out? So at the beginning of the year, I created this little jar. Um, well, I just put this jar in my office and the point, the intent was to put good things as it happened into this jar. And I just kind of forgot about it um, until now actually. And I'm like, you know, I've had some good things happen this year. So maybe I could start filling this jar up. Um, and the intent is that at the end of the year, you can read them all and see like the kind of year they had. So maybe that's what I'll do. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. I can't wait till Thursday. I don't have really any plans this weekend. It's just gonna be a chill week, a chill weekend. And then the next week is a crazy busy week. So I might vlog throughout the week, but um, if not, happy new week. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And um, I'll see you again next Monday. Bye.